Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and in this chapter we're going to discuss customizing Lightroom. And we're going to start first with the view and the and the basic interface. Okay, so let's first start with how to kind of customize and contract and expand these different panels. And these are your panels. We discussed kind of all the features and interface components previously, so if you guys aren't sure what we're talking about, just go check those out. Um, but starting with the left and right panel, we learned that there was hotkeys to shrinking and expanding them, but you can also click on the left bar. But you can actually also change the width of these panels too by just bringing your mouse cursor over that edge so that this little arrow, this little double-sided arrow appears. If I click and drag, I can actually shrink it. Um, and it can only go so small. This is the smallest it goes. But you can also expand it. And this is the largest it can possibly go. Okay, so I kind of like to have it a little bit on the smaller side. And then on the right side, I can I can also customize that panel size as well. So I can kind of go out to here as well as contract it all the way here. This panel, again, I, I kind of like to have these a little bit smaller. Um, and you can also check out, we're in the grid view right now, but if I switch to loop view, um, you can see how it kind of affects the Im amount of space for your image if you expand this over here. So right now my image can only be, it's restricted by the height, so it, it really doesn't matter how large the, these two side panels are right now. Uh, again, with a film strip over this bar right here, I can adjust the size of that film strip. Okay, and I do like to have my, this is kind of a personal preference, I like to have my film strip pretty large um, just because I like to be able to see a good size kind of preview of that image before I click over to it. Because a lot of times I can kind of see just by that thumbnail image whether it's kind of a keeper or a reject, you know. Okay, so I'm going to go into, oh, we're actually already in loop view. Um, now, if you guys don't remember the, the different view modes, um, check out the previous chapter where we discuss all the interface view modes and everything like that. But I'm in loop view right now. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to customize this information that you guys see up here. So there's two different informational views in the loop view. Okay, and we can cycle between those by hitting I. So right now you see the file name, you see the date and time that the shot was taken, and you see the resolution. If I hit I, it's going to bring up, well, we still keep the file name, but then it brings up the actual settings, in-camera settings, as well as the lens that was used to shoot the shot. If I hit I again, it's going to all disappear. So there's actually three different view modes for the, inter uh, for the information. Okay, if I go to my view menu right here, I can also click the view options, which is the shortcut to get to it is control J. From here, I can actually control the loop view info info directly. I can actually set specifically what I want to see. So if I don't want the file name, I can do I can select from all these different options on the metadata. Um, if I want something else for you know the second line, the third line as well, you can basically select whatever you want from your metadata for the for each view mode. So you can have, I believe, yeah, there's only two view modes that you can use. So loop view info, loop info one, loop info two, but you can customize those however you like. Okay, and then when you hit I, it'll cycle between those two different views. All right, so I kind of prefer to stay on the settings view just because, I don't know, I like to see how it was shot and everything like that. So next I'm going to go to the grid view by hitting G. And from the grid view, we also have, we can customize the information that's shown to us as well. Uh, to do that, you hit J. So it's going to, J will actually cycle between the different view modes. Um, so this is the most basic view mode where you see no information. Then we hit J again, it'll go to the first view mode, which you see some information. You see the flagging, the numbering. You also see if there's stacks, the badges right here, um, if there's stars, things like that. If I hit J again, it's going to show me the full expanded information view mode, where it shows me the file name, the resolution, the type of file. This is actually kind of the view mode that I prefer because I like to see, like for example, this is a perfect example right here where I have the raw and the Photoshop file right next to it. Sometimes it's hard to tell which one's a Photoshop file from this grid view, like if, if, I, only if I only see this. So having it selected um, and showing everything, can, you can kind of see all that stuff. Again, we can customize this uh, view mode by going to view options again or hitting control J. We're in the grid view. Right now I have selected show grid extras and this is all the stuff that you can possibly select. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You guys can go through and kind of customize it however you guys like. Um, there's not really any tricky stuff in this section. So feel free to play around with that and customize to your liking. All right, in the next video we're going to go over how to customize your identity plate and kind of set it up so it's your unique look to Lightroom.